I'm Vahid Razavi with BizCloud. I'm here with Ken Vinko. Ken is the Vice President of Global Products for Dun & Bradstreet here at Data Week. Ken, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, Ken, wanted to learn a little bit about the challenges and problems that you've seen uh, across the enterprise, uh, especially at Data Week and what people are bringing up to your attention. Could you talk a little bit about that? Sure. What's interesting is that many of the challenges that companies are facing are, are really starting to merge across finance, operations, marketing, sales. And what I mean by that is every single group is really looking for better insight in order to improve decision making and drive better results. So for example, CFOs are looking for new growth opportunities, whether that be through organic growth or mergers and acquisitions, joint ventures. They want to avoid risk. So it really requires a greater insight. Operations executives are looking for ways to improve their supply chain in order to take advantage of new growth opportunities. Once again, it's understanding who, you're, who are your suppliers? Are there low cost uh, suppliers that you could be doing business with? How do you avoid risk across the globe? How do you make sure you're in compliance? Uh, those kinds of situations. Marketing teams, so CMOs are really struggling in order to be able to drive buyer engagement and improve that customer experience. To do that, you need to have the right insight in, the, in order to be able to deliver the right message and the right solutions to the right customer at the right time. And then you have sales who really need buyer intelligence. And what I mean by that is everything that they need to know about that particular business in order to be able to talk to an executive buyer and convince them in, that they can solve their business problems and deliver a solution for them. So do you find a lot of the enterprise companies today are using data and insight from uh, making their strategy and their decisions? Or is data a secondary fact and they're still moving forward with their gut feeling and reacting to it? Mm -hmm. How, what is your perception of the, uh, of the enterprise today? Well, it's interesting when you look at the research, so from Forrester Research, the number one priority and investment focus is, is driving improved business performance from data and analytics. So many companies are focused on it. At the same time, another study actually showed the number one challenge is actually deriving better business results from that same data and analytics. So companies are focusing on it, but they're really struggling. Why are they struggling? They're struggling because there's a multitude of complexity of IT infrastructure, multiple systems that you have to be able to deliver this information across in order to get the insight, to get improve that collaboration. Number two, you have all of these different data sources, and these data sources need to be mined for context so then you can deliver the information you need to the right person. And then finally, on the business side, it's gotta be consumable. If it's sitting in a spreadsheet somewhere, it really doesn't do a lot of good. It's got to be right in the applications that they're using so they can instantly see the information that they need that's relevant to them and then make the right decision based on that course of action. And I guess all data is not created equal, right? If you're going to go out and build a, um, an enterprise data hub where you're collecting data from various sources to make the kinds of decisions in finance and marketing and sales that you discuss around ver you know, acquisitions, mergers, and those kinds of things, quality of data becomes important. Then on Brett Street, you guys have been doing this for about 100 years. What's the trick for data quality? Well, number one, it starts with business identity resolution, which means who is that company? What, you know, how many employees do they have? What revenue, what is their revenue size? All those kinds of, what is their financial performance? All of those kinds of things are critical, critical to know. Because if you start making assumptions or you have incomplete information on those kinds of factors, and you're a, a company looking to, uh, let's say, acquire somebody, and you've got the wrong facts, I mean, that, that merger and acquisition can go wrong. In fact, CFOs, 70% say that they don't get the results they're seeking from a merger and acquisition. So to get the right insight is critical to success because you want to know, okay, how should I evaluate this deal? Or if it's a marketing organization, I need to know I have the right insight in order to be able to effectively target and the number one challenge for marketing organizations today is connecting across all these different systems. And second is incomplete data. So they don't know how to target effectively because they don't have the right and accurate, complete and accurate information. Now, does data have a shelf life in an enterprise? Is there a particular shelf life for the data before it expires? Oh, absolutely. So actually, according to our own research, if you look over the course of a year, the number of business addresses that change, phone numbers, email addresses, titles, I mean, constantly changing. In fact, Constellation Research estimates that 60 to 80 percent of your data is obsolete within a year. So tremendous amount of change. And if you don't have somebody to help you do that and automatically refresh it, it obviously can be very time consuming. So you want to be able to use technologies like data as a service where you deliver data and analytics through the cloud and it's automatically refreshed for you so that you don't have to worry about it. 
That makes a lot of sense, Ken. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us, and I look forward to hearing more about Dun & Bradstreet and your work there. Thank you for your time.